Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am doing your August 2020 predictions pick a card. So I know there were some intense vibes in July, but that's fine. We'll see what's ahead. I have no idea what's in these cards, but I'm excited to read for you. So I did realize the um the black tourmaline's a little hard to get a view at, so I'm actually gonna hold all your crystals for you. So for pile one, we have rose quartz, and I'll just have this here for a second so you can pick up the vibes if that's your thing. Pile two, we have chrysocolla. I know it's hard to get these beautiful different shades, but it's one of my favorite crystals. For pile three, we have black tourmaline. Again, it's blending in. I have so much black, I'm sorry. <laughs> and much easier to see, we have this lovely stick of selenite for group four. All right, so. Remember, it's a general pick of cards, so you may feel drawn to just one pile or parts of different piles or just different piles. That's totally fine, and if you need to take some time to pause the video and meditate on the cards, that is fine as well, but I'm going to get started with pile one. Okay, so those of you who chose pile one with the rose cords, this is your August 2020 prediction. So we have the five of shells or five of cups. We have the Nine of Crystals, or Nine of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Shells, or Eight of Cups. Now, moving on to your Oracle cards. We have Trust Your Path. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? Let's move these up a little higher. We have the Priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? I just want to show you that one, because it's coming through pretty strong for this group. And we have versatility. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure that's marijuana. Also, isn't this deck so lovely? This is my new um, Threads of Fate Oracle deck. I highly recommend it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love the energy of it as well. <laughs> Very important. Okay, let me make sure this is all in the shot. Okay, I know the black, again, is hard to see, but it is what it is. It's a bit more visible up there. Not really. So just trust it's there, I showed you. Alright, so I do want to start with your oracle cards actually because we have trust your path. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? And we have the priestess, which is all about leadership. So I do feel like um, this group, group one, you've been feeling a little like, you know, kind of pulled in two directions because we have this trusting your path and being called to lead, but we also have the five of cups here, which makes me think that you've been kind of struggling um, in July or just in general in your life um, or in August, this is something you're going to come into where you're struggling with um, kind of seeing the silver lining in things. And I am seeing that, you know, traditionally in the Five of Cups, it's like three of the cups are tipped over, but there are still two upright, but the man in the card is only paying attention to the cups that are tipped over. Now, granted, there are more that are tipped over, but that doesn't mean that you should only pay attention to the tipped over cups when they're these full, beautiful, abundant gifts behind you. And that's the vibe I'm getting is that there may be some hardships ahead of you. And it depends on what you're going through now. I feel like if you're smooth sailing now, honestly, this is like your August energy is you'll have some rough things come up and you'll be tested to... um you know, kind of really just see the beauty of things and trust your, your leadership abilities and let go of some kind of lack mentality as well, but I'll get there. Um, but if this is what you've been going through, regardless, once you go through this, I do see that you're going to be attracting abundance a lot better, attracting comfort, all of the pentacle suits things. Like, I do see you, you know, I'm also getting some just general confidence is what I'm feeling because the pentacles and the priestess, um, as well as the eight of cups, I feel like there's some, there's some confidence issues going on. It doesn't mean that it's like your typical issue. For some of you, it might be, um, you know, one of your big shadow work things is confidence. But for others of you, I feel like it's just kind of a little, 
it's a little blip and some of you aren't really used to having confidence issues and so that's going to come up and it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for you and there's going to be a little bit of shadow work to do with that. Um, there's some fears definitely, you feel some fears coming up and it's going to be really easy to focus on what's going wrong. And I'm also seeing is it's going to be really easy to focus on the things that haven't gone right and the things that have, um, especially the things that you've failed at in your life, even though like, you know, when you're like all in tune and you're all Zen meditative, you know that those were just like lessons you needed to learn. Those were stepping stones along your path, but your ego is going to really want to take over. Um, and it's really, for some reason, just really fixated on these things that didn't go right and really wants you to kind of feel like a failure. But you know what? I feel like it's because we have this priestess energy here. We have trust your path. And this is what you would do without fear. So it's interesting that I'm getting all this about like fear and lack mentality. And this card is all about letting go of fear. This isn't about, you know, doing things just to be safe and secure. It's about, you know, what's going to make you happy and going after that. And for a lot of you, I'm seeing that this is just taking a little more of a leadership position, but more so I'm seeing this as confidence because, you know, for some of you, I do see it's being some kind of teacher or leader or mentor. But for others of you, I just see it as like kind of, it's, it's the confidence. It's all I'm getting this lack of confidence is something that's going to come up. And it's because your ego is scared of what's to come. I'm seeing this very clearly is your ego is wanting to kind of lash out. It's wanting to keep you back because that's the known. You stepping into the unknown, really stepping into this beautiful power. And for some of you, it's a very new direction. With the versatility here, I'm seeing that you're <laughs> group one. Even if you don't, I just like giggled because I know that some of you aren't going to like want to believe what I'm saying. And... I hope it's fine that I'm just playing with this card while I talk, because um, it's so beautiful. But I'm seeing that, you know, your ego really wants to pull you back because, like, you're good at a lot of things is what I'm seeing. And it's like, your ego doesn't want to let you believe that because if you embrace all the things that you're good at, group one, like, you will be something, someone that people admire. You will be someone who achieves really great things. And we have this Eight of Cups here, and I see that's this really big thing for you in August, is you're stepping away from this, like, you know, mentality of focusing on your failures and feeling like because you failed that that means you'll never be good at these things. And with the versatility, I'm just seeing this as, like, I'm also seeing you have a very, like, unique approach to things. You have a unique mind, and maybe that's something your ego also doesn't want to let you believe. Um, yeah, but I see you, like, really needing to step into that. <laughs> I, I know I don't like to use the word need, but it's definitely the direction you're being pointed in. And if you've been worried about abundance flowing in, that is definitely kind of a block in the road that is, like, blocking the flow of abundance and comfort for you. And for others of you, as I said, dealing with this is also kind of, um, I see that there's some confidence issues with the body image, just for some of you. And, you know, I'm sorry, I don't say that to be hurtful. It's just what came up. And that's something I see you at least making progress with in August. I don't know why with the body image one, I'm seeing that that's kind of something you'll still kind of be a work in progress with that after August. This is really about like, you know, letting go of the fear. <laughs> I'll say it one more time, letting go of the fear. And a lot of you, it really is a fear of success and a fear of your own greatness. And I know that sounds like so corny and so like, I'm just saying that to make you feel good, but that's what's coming up. So I'm saying it. I wouldn't say that just to blow smoke up your you know what. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing for you, group one. It's kind of straightforward ish at least there's definitely that's what I'm seeing is you know there's always like shadow work we could do there's always some internal you know turning that we could do but I'm really seeing for you it's it's about letting go of fear for some of you it's like a little more of a 
different fear or a more specific fear, but for all of you, I am seeing there's some some fear related to really accepting your greatness and specifically like the things you're good at and the fact that you are someone who can be looked up to. Like if I'm saying this and you're literally thinking, oh, that's not me, this can't be my pile because that's not me. <laughs> that's just kind of more so proving that this is your pile because that's your ego jumping in and saying like, you're not good, you're not, you know, worthy. And that's not true of anyone's soul. Everyone's soul and spirit is great and worthy and like a beautiful spirit that can be looked up to and has a unique approach. So like, you're not so special that you don't fit into that category. Like, I'm sorry to word it like that, but um, that's something someone said to me once that really resonated with me is like, why do you think you're so special that you're worse than everyone else? And so maybe that's something that will resonate with some of you. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Group 1. That was a little, um, <laughs> I don't know, that was a little trippy reading. There's definitely some internal stuff going on, but I hope that made sense. It's kind of a cause and effect thing going on. And yeah, so, so I hope you have a beautiful month ahead of you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so those of you who chose group two with this lovely Chrysocolla, this is again, one of my favorites. You know, I love those blue-green stones, obviously, with my Amazonite. But this is your August 2020 prediction. So let's see, you have the Empress. Oh my god, you picked one of my favorite crystals and you got one of my absolute favorite cards. So we have the Three of Feathers or the Three of Swords. Now that doesn't mean it's all bad for those of you who know tarot like it's fine to get sword suits and you have the five of pentacles and again it's all about context don't worry <laughs> we have awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being integration i really want to show you your oracles wow we have council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms And we have the alchemist. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is like spot on. I really want to show you this card for a little bit longer. Um, again, I really love this deck and it's because it's just really hard to see once I put it down. So I do want to give you a moment to just see the imagery on this. And then when I get to it again, I'll show you again. Um, so wow, uh, we have the alchemist and I'm really seeing this as your central energy here is you are transmuting old pains and traumas. They're gonna be resurfacing in August. Um, some of you may be going through them right now and that's totally fine. That doesn't mean this isn't your pile. It's just, you're kind of going to be going into that leading into August. And some of you, you know, it's a general reading, different messages for different people. Um, some of you are going to keep like trekking on with this um, emotional soul alchemy well into the month. Others of you, it'll be like, hey, it's August 1st. <laughs> I went through this. And others of you, it'll just be, you know, somewhere in between. And that's totally fine. Um, doesn't mean you should like try to rush through this. This is definitely the energy of August for you. So three of swords and the five of pentacles. I'm definitely getting like a lot of emotional hurt and I'm feeling like <laughs> for some of you it's like there was a recent emotional hurt and there was another one that was a little further back. I'm feeling that some of you like they were very similar pains and now you're kind of seeing these patterns in your life. Um, Others of you, if it wasn't super recent, I'm seeing that you're like seeing the patterns in your pain. That's why we get this alchemy. You're seeing the patterns and so you're able to transmute, you know, into those lessons. Okay, so what I'm really getting here with the Empress though and the Alchemist is you're turning. Let me make sure my camera is still going. Sorry, I just got a message that my Wi-Fi went out. So it's a good thing I'm not trying to upload this right now. Um, so you're turning this pain, again, it's like turning base metals into beautiful gold, beautiful shining light for you. So for a lot of you, you may have kind of been in the victim mentality with this, which is totally fine. It's just part of the process. Um, 
But what I'm seeing is you're really tapping into your divine feminine. A lot of you are really getting into your spirituality and intuition. Your giving, nurturing nature is something that, you know, some of you might have honestly um, been a little more, I don't know, forceful. And I'm not saying this like as an insult, I'm just saying what's coming up. Um, this pain might have made you a little more forceful than you wanted to be, a little more jaded than you wanted to be at times. It might have been easy to trigger you with these things. And that's just kind of, I mean that very objectively, okay? Um, it's very understandable depending on what you went through. It could be very traumatic. Three of Swords is very, very painful. And Five of Crystals, that energy for me always just feels like, it's like for a while you felt like there was no hope. You felt like this pain was meaningless. And that's why this Empress and the Alchemist and Awakening, like we have this beautiful line here. It's absolutely beautiful how it's lining up. Like, yes, there's this pain, but you have support with the Councils of Light. Like, you've definitely got some guides or deities or, you know, God or the universe, archangels, whatever it is you believe in, really, really close to you. I'm seeing definitely, like, in general, but definitely right now. So what I'm seeing for you is that, again, I know this was a roundabout way to get there, but hopefully it helps you understand a little more that whatever this pain, and it might seem like it's different, but I'm seeing that they're very, very connected, even if it's two like distinct situations. And again, for some of you, I'm feeling like one is more further back and one is a little more recent is something I'm getting. Um, but you're going through an awakening is kind of the, the let's get to the point of it. Is you're definitely going through like a spiritual awakening. This doesn't have to be your first one, but you're really going through an energetic upgrade right now. You're really like with the alchemist, you're honestly like you will recognize yourself after, but you're going to be so much more functional. Um, I'm seeing that like old relationships that weren't like working for you old, like, just any, like, situation or job or place or person or thing that, like, wasn't working for you, like, you're really coming into your, like, confidence in your divine feminine energy, if that makes sense. It's coming into balance. Um, a lot of you had the divine feminine a little out of balance, and this might have been a consistent thing, or it might have been just recently, and, you know, you might have kind of been letting people take a little too much of your energy or you might have been like too slow moving and not as connected to your intuition as you would have liked but again I'm going to show you the alchemist again because you're turning all that around and you're turning it into something beautiful and you're going to you know at least by the end of August you're going to be identifying with the lessons instead of the hurt you're not going to be identifying as someone who's a doormat, as someone who's not connected to your intuition. You're going to identify as someone who has learned lots of lessons in their life, and you will be applying that wisdom. You will be standing in that divine, feminine, empress, powerful energy. The empress is not forceful, but she's still very, very powerful, and that's the energy that I see you stepping into. Again, your guides, the universe, whatever you believe in, you're very divinely guided through the month of August. Like, you are protected in this work. I'm seeing that it's going to be really painful. It's going to be hard for some of you. It will be, like, quite frankly, super triggering, okay? And that's why you have these guides around you. That's why you have this help. It is very important that you go through this. So if you need support, you need help. You know, I'm seeing that for a lot of you, it's going to be about reaching out and saying, I need to feel that divine support right now. And you will receive it in, you know, messages or synchronicities or a friend happens to message you right when you're going through this because they get that nudge from your guides or that nudge from the universe, you know, or a body feeling. You'll just feel uplifted. That's your guides, okay? Um, you know, the guides... Your guides in the universe or, you know, whatever you believe in, they don't always 
communicate by showing up in the corner of your bedroom and saying, hello, here's the answer to all your problems. It's, it's very subtle. They definitely rely on us interpreting and learning lessons, often very hard lessons, and we often have to go through quite a bit to understand the messages, okay? So even with that help, like just to be like super straightforward, <laughs> don't expect it to be easy. It will not be. I feel like I'd be a, doing a disservice to you if I lied and said, oh, you have divine help, so it's going to be so easy because, like, again, there's a reason why <laughs> they're there because it's it's going to be quite hard. Um, this is a beautiful, very beautiful, powerful, intuitive energy you're stepping into, though. You know, especially those of you who are wanting to get more in touch with your intuition. I'm seeing that especially. Like, this is... You know, these are the things that are blocking you, that have been blocking your intuition, your connection to your guides in the universe, at least feeling that connection. I mean, we're always connection connected, but we don't always feel connected. You will feel much more connected by the end of August, okay? So that's what I'm saying for you, group two. I hope that resonated. Um, really beautiful. Please like and subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, group three, so those of you who chose the lovely black tourmaline, which <laughs> blends in with my background. <laughs> oh god, I think I'm so funny. Um, here is your um, message for August 2020. So we have the two of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles. And we have the chariot. So already that's two sevens, so I'm really seeing you having a more balance of the divine energies with you with having two sevens. And the two is interesting. We have the two, and then we have two of the seven. Okay, so for your oracle cards, we have yes, just say yes. Which is one of my favorites. So if you had, um, before I get into my bigger interpretation of cards, if you had like a yes or no question in your head, there's your answer. Okay, if, you know, for some reason you came into this with a yes or no question. So we have star seed, what lights you up? And for some of you, it was about, you know, an occupation or a person. And your answer is like, yes, but is this what makes you happy? Like, you've been kind of wondering if something's making you happy is what I'm, what I'm getting. So, and you, group three, so you're just very special because when I drew your oracle cards, first of all, your first one is share wisdom. I'm talking a lot with you, group three. And we have the outlaw. Okay, so I did try to draw one of these cards <laughs> for every group. And then when I drew yours, I heard one more. So this outlaw card is very important to you. So I'm seeing definitely like tap into that wild side, that side of you that goes against the green. And you know what? Like, <laughs> bless spirit, thank you, because that makes so much sense with this pile with like just say yes starseed what lights you up and the outlaw i feel like you are wanting to go in this different direction group three and as like a rule of thumb you're kind of like you have this wild side you really do um but sometimes you can feel judged by others you can feel like um, it's too out there. Like, for some of you, like, say you're wanting to do, like, more intuitive work like this, and you're just, you know, it's not what most people do, and you're afraid that it won't be stable. I'm sorry, I'm burping for you. And you're afraid that people will judge you, or people won't understand it, or maybe for some of you, like, your family won't support you through it, your friends won't, um, support you, or that you just, like, frankly, like, won't make enough money is something I'm seeing. But we have just say yes. So do with that what you will. It's definitely pointing. <laughs> I like, this is gonna sound so corny, but it's like for you, this is the month of saying yes to you and saying yes to life. Um, and I say that not to sound like a lifetime movie, but because I feel like you have not been doing that. That's why it's coming up is because you've been kind of You've been not letting this wilder side of you get out. And when share wisdom, I'm seeing this is your unique self. 
like this wild side of you, this different side, it's more for some of you, it's a very, it's a more spiritual sign with like the, the twos and the sevens. I'm seeing you're definitely going to be feeling more like, you're going to be feeling more secure with your spirituality. Or, you know, by the end of August, you will. I do feel like for some of you, it's going to feel like a big, a big risk, a big leap of faith. But sometimes that's just a test we're presented with. And that's what we need to learn. But with the two of pentacles, I do you, I do, I do you. Oh my God. Well, hopefully not. Um, <laughs> in August, we're going to hook up. Um, <laughs> so I see you kind of playing a little bit of a juggling act and maybe for some of you that's what you're going into now you've been trying to dive into this other side of you while working another job or almost like living a double life honestly like you are one version of yourself around certain people and then ooh, here comes your wild side like when you get alone and you're journaling or you're just thinking about the you that you want to be like this internal you is so different from this external and you know again general reading different messages for different people but I do see that the wilder side of you it's kind of like you're juggling it with this other side of you and it really wants to come out in August this different more quirky but it is like this is your voice to share like share wisdom if you're wanting to know if you should like I don't know write a book start a channel like um to start posting inspirational messages or just like reaching out to more people who are in need things like that i'm definitely seeing like this unique side of you is full of wisdom and full of originality and just full of you know just beautiful things that need to be shared like this is part of your mission here with starseed what lights you up there's something that makes you happy that you're just not quite fully embracing you know I'm, i am feeling that for some of you like you're embracing it, like you've sort of gotten into it. But even then, there are some things that you're not showing to everyone. And you don't have to show every part of yourself, but make sure you're not not showing things to people out of fear. Make sure that in August, you're showing as much of you as you want to. You know, not as much as your ego is comfortable with. That's not what we're saying here. We're not saying like, let ego control us and make us feel afraid to show our wild side. Like how much does how much feels right for your soul to share? Okay, that's that's the real big energy here. Oh, seven of crystals and the chariot. I see that this is gonna be very fruitful. This is gonna be very rewarding. And for a lot of you, this is about like planting the seeds for success with a chariot. Like this decision, whatever this, like, <laughs> whatever you feel this yes means for you, like, whatever direction you're wanting to go with, again, like, with what lights you up in this more unique side, we have the chariot, so it will be successful. Next to the seven of pentacles, so if you're worried about financial success, it will be financially successful. I am seeing that it's not quite, you know, for some of you, if you've been kind of on this path a little bit, you may have planted these seeds and it's time to reap the rewards. For others of you, this can be a little bit of a process. Like, you are going to see the growth, but it's not going to be immediately stable. So I am seeing that as something, and don't take that as this will never be successful. It's just that it will take time. That Seven of Pentacles energy is like you plant the seeds so that later you can reap the rewards. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Group 3 absolutamente beautiful and i'm really excited for you to i just want to show you your boot again <laughs> look at that that's you you're the outlaw you're you're fun you're not like other girls so let that part of you shine you know not just for you but for everyone else too because other people need this part of you just as much as you do okay so that's what I'm seeing for you, group three. I hope that resonated. Please like and subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, last but not least, so those of you who chose group four with the selenite, this is your message for August 2020. So we have temperance. We have the page of wands. <laughs> and we have the two of cups. 
That's what I was booing about. I love the Two of Cups. We have Dance with Life. Do something to change your energy. We have Get Grounded. Highly sensitive empaths connect with nature. And we have Higher Perspective. And as I've told the other groups, these are kind of hard to see in my current black background. So I am just going to show you. And then I'll show you again towards the end or <laughs> once we get into it. Okay, so... I literally just like covered the words for you. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. Group four. So temperance. You're coming into this really beautiful state of balance. Okay. With temperance. I'm seeing like this isn't just like, you know, balancing work with school. This is like soul balance. Like your energies are coming into balance in August. Now again, this could be if you've really, really been on this path and you feel this to be true, what I'm about to say, this could be the energy that you're kind of entering with because it is your first card here. For others of you, it's kind of like the thing that's going to come up first in August. Like here's your August energy. Um, we're really trying to balance these energies. Now, it's interesting because we have dance with life and we have get grounded. And that's, you know, this is about this bigger life balance for you. I'm seeing that, like, in August, you're really going to need to play this game of internal soul stability with letting your soul move. And I am talking about, like, the soul, not just, like, you need to make sure you sleep enough hours like yes that is one way it can manifest um but it's definitely like there's some soul stability coming as well as like that adventurous side of your soul and you know it's interesting that in between these we have higher perspective you know i feel like sometimes you may feel like you're stuck in really long bouts of like always doing the internal stuff, making sure you're grounded, blah, blah, blah. And for others of you, you feel like you kind of neglect that, or you may feel that you just go back and forth. And I do feel personally attacked by this because this is what I'm doing right now. Um, that going back and forth between it's time to go out. It's time to like put all these things to work. And then like the next day I'm like, oh my God, more shadow work, more meditation. <laughs> so I feel you. Things are going to be more steady, more balanced in your soul. And I am saying this because I am hoping that's what's true as well. <laughs> Trust me. You're definitely going to get some better, you know, perspective. Also about why this is. It may seem a little confusing, you know, why you've been kind of teeter-tottering between, like, this inward and outward expression of your soul. But it is, it's going to be like more like you can live in both realms at the same time, if that makes sense. Like you don't always have to be in like, oh, this is my week of looking inside and this is my week of being really extroverted, okay? It's going to be, as I said, a lot more balanced within the soul. So it's going to be a lot better communication and I am going to read these next two cards in a couple of ways. And if you read Zipero, you know that it's kind of exciting, okay? So... Group four, what I'm seeing for you is there's definitely going to be better communication and better communication of what's inside you in your soul and within your passions, okay? There's a really big, um, you know, renewal of enthusiasm, and you're also going to be able to communicate this to others. Now, with the two of cups, I am also seeing, like, a lot more balance, peace, and harmony in your life, and again, like, we just have more about like duality because I do see these as going together in a very harmonious way, but they're also so different. Like Page of Wands is so spunky and Two of Cups is all about peace and harmony. And you're really going to have a beautiful balance of those in August. Wow. I just wanted to bask in that for a second because it's, it feels so like there is, there's that balance of energy of it's, it's very calm, it's very peaceful internally, but it's also so rewarding. You're going to feel very rewarded, like spiritually and emotionally this month. I'm really excited for you, group four. Like, I feel that. Okay, and <laughs> for others of you, what I'm seeing here with the page of wands next to 
the two of cups is there's definitely like a soulmate soul relationship coming in and this doesn't have to mean romantic energy if that's not what you're looking for i am seeing and you know with these general readings it's hard to know which way it goes this could be you reaching out to someone who's either a soulmate relationship um, and this could be romantic or a platonic soulmate, those exist, <laughs> and they're very wonderful, those soul friends, those members of your soul family. I do see a lot of you just being in more contact with members of your soul family, like people who are very similarly, like, on a very similar spiritual level as you, and again, that's more of that, like, rewarding and also peaceful energy, is it's going to be very stimulating conversation, Again, whether it's platonic or romantic, it's going to be very, very stimulating, but also very balancing and very, it's going to be a lot of harmony in this relationship. Like, you're going to really love whoever this person or these people are that you're in contact with. And on the other side of that, this could be you kind of getting contact or a message or, you know, if you are face to face with people, whatever, um, this could be someone just like, you know, someone's going to be communicating to you in some form or another who is, as I said, a soulmate, a soul relationship, either platonic or romantic. So if you've really been trying to manifest members of your soul family or a soulmate, that's definitely something I see coming through. So I do want to just hold this up again because I see you really getting that higher perspective on yourself like the different aspects of yourself coming into balance um how to have better balance how to be like that calm version of you as well as that really spontaneous spunky spiritual that was a lot of s's but you know that really enthusiastic version of you i see you being able to do them again much more harmoniously they're working together um for a lot of you it's felt like they were working separately and sometimes kind of against each other in a very frustrating way. <laughs> Trust me, I know. And yeah, I see you kind of, you know, just living in a way that's more integrated. That's really what I'm getting is it's a lot more integrated and you're going to be a lot more, you know, there is that internal spirituality. But again, we have a lot here about relationships. So I see that if you've been feeling like you haven't been very, um, in communication with um, the people you care about or that your relationships are just not spiritually like on a level that makes you feel good I see that happening and that is more of the balance that's coming in so that's what I'm seeing for you group four most beautiful very beautiful I'm very excited for you this is gonna be you know there's always gonna be issues that come up but this was mostly about like blessings and stuff and balance. So I do feel like even if for a little bit of August, like this is what you're going through, it is really great things coming. Like I'm excited for you. <laughs> so I hope that resonated group four. Please like and subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video.